Dental radiographic exams are one of the primary diagnostic tools to determine disease states and to formulate the appropriate treatment. Radiographs should be prescribed according to selection criteria guidelines. These guidelines are based on a variety of factors, including the patient's medical and dental history, clinical signs and symptoms of disease, risk factors, age and dentition, and new or recall status. Dental radiographs are valued diagnostic tools when the image quality is adequate enough for proper interpretation. To do this, it is imperative to correctly place the image receptor in the mouth and ensure that the primary x-ray beam is centered and aligned correctly in both the vertical and horizontal angulations. At this time, it is crucial to minimize patient exposure to radiation. Successful images require the use of careful technique and precautions to maximize their diagnostic and interpretive value. This video is provided by Densupply Serona and is to be used as a guide to enhance the clinician's skill in acquiring quality radiographs. This informational guide is not intended as a replacement for the Directions for Use manual for any product shown. Always check your manufacturer's guidelines for recommended use of equipment. The paralleling technique is used for both periapical and bite wing radiographs and is the most accurate technique for taking these projections. Receptor instruments with X-ray beam ring guides improve the accuracy of the PID alignment to ensure correct beam angulation and centering. Receptor instruments combine a receptor holder with an arm that has an attached ring indicating the position for the PID. This helps the operator avoid cone cut errors by specifically directing the X-ray beam toward the center of the receptor. RIN's XCP short arm aiming devices were designed for use with handheld portable X-ray units. The XCP short arms are up to 48% shorter than RIN's standard XCP arms, enabling closer positioning to the patient's face. Using the XCP short arm makes it easier and faster for the clinician to align the handheld X-ray unit accurately than if an aiming system wasn't utilized. The XCP short arm aiming device uses the XCP DS fit universal sensor holder and the traditional arm and ring sets, which consists of three metal arms and three color coded rings corresponding to the area they will be used in the mouth. The blue bite blocks correspond with the metal arm with the blue pegs and the blue ring. The yellow bite block is for posterior periapical radiographs and corresponds with the metal arm with the yellow pegs and the yellow ring. The red bite block is used for bite wing radiographs and is available in a horizontal or vertical orientation and corresponds with the metal arm and the red pegs and the red ring. There is also a green bite block for use in endodontic radiographs and has a metal arm and a green ring. There are two options for anterior bite blocks, a thicker bite block and a thin bite block which makes it easier to place in the patient's mouth when using a size 2 sensor. To assemble the XCP short arm with the XCP DS fit anterior bite block for images, place the blue pins on the arm into the side of the blue bite block and slide the arm into the blue aiming ring. After placing the sensor into a RIN digital sensor cover, securely insert the sensor into the blue bite block, making sure that the active side of the sensor is against the flat surface of the bite block. To capture maxillary images using the XCP short arm aiming device, center the bite block behind the maxillary anterior teeth being captured and rest the bite block on the incisal edges. Instruct the patient to close slowly and align the handheld portable x-ray device to the aiming ring. The image is now ready to be captured. Continue capturing images of the mandibular anteriors by positioning the image receptor in the same manner used for the maxillary anteriors. Center it behind the teeth being captured instruct the patient to close slowly, and align the handheld portable x-ray device. The image is now ready to be captured. To assemble the XCP short arm with XCP DS fit posterior bite block, place the yellow pins on the arm into the side of the yellow bite block and slide the arm into the yellow end on the aiming ring. After placing the sensor into a RIN digital sensor cover, Securely insert the sensor horizontally into the yellow bite block, making sure the active side of the sensor is against the flat surface of the bite block. 
To obtain images of the maxillary or mandibular posterior teeth, guide the image receptor into the patient's mouth, allowing the sensor to find its way comfortably. Center the sensor behind the tooth being captured and rest the bite block on the tooth's occlusal surface. Instruct the patient to close slowly, align the handheld portable x-ray device, and capture the image. Bite wing radiographs are considered part of the routine dental assessment. It may be five to seven years between full mouth sets, and bite wing x-rays are an important diagnostic tool to monitor disease and health during this time interval. To properly detect caries in periodontal disease, it is essential to capture open contacts between teeth and maxillary and mandibular bone levels. It is important to ensure that the central ray is perpendicular to the image receptor. To assemble the XCP short arm with the XCP DS Fit bite wing bite block for images, place the red pins on the arm into the side of the red bite block and slide the arm into the red aiming ring. Securely insert the sensor into the red bite block, making sure that the active side of the sensor is against the flat surface of the bite block. If taking horizontal images, the sensor will be placed into the bite block in the horizontal position and in a vertical position if capturing vertical bite wings. When placing the sensor for bite wing images, allow the sensor to find its place in the mouth comfortably. It is important to remember when aligning the sensor for premolar or molar bite wings, the central ray must be perpendicular to the image receptor. This will aid in opening the contacts, producing a quality diagnostic image. Place the bite block behind the teeth being captured, ensuring that the central ray is perpendicular to the sensor. Instruct the patient to close slowly and utilize the handheld portable x-ray device to acquire the image. To assemble the XCP short arm with the XCP DS Fit Endo Bite Block for endodontic images, place the metal arm into the front tab of the green bite block. Slide the arm into the green aiming ring. After placing the sensor into a RIN digital sensor cover, securely insert the sensor horizontally into the green bite block, making sure the active side of the sensor is against the flat surface of the bite block. Ensure that the image receptor is visible through the green aiming ring. Place the bite block into the patient's mouth and center it behind the area being radiographed, mindfully observing the treatment area. Utilize the handheld portable x-ray device to acquire the image. Using the XCP short arm aiming device with a handheld portable device and following these simple image receptor placement recommendations can aid a clinician in capturing quality images. Thank you for viewing this instructional educational video brought to you by Dent Supply Serona.